NFL. It's been some time since we talked the NFL, and I don't realize my hair looks absolutely terrible, but I mean, you know, NFL free agency has started, and I completely forgot to talk about it. I completely forgot, you know, hey, NFL free agency window, it's here. Uh, we, we're, I'm going to talk about some other big things as well on the broadcasting side of things so we don't get that left out because that's something big there as well. We do need to talk about that. Uh, but Monday, you know, what happened on Monday was one of the craziest things I think I've ever seen in my entire life. You got Tom Brady saying, yeah, I'm coming back to the Bucks." You know, I'm sitting here completely surprised that Brady said, yeah, I'm gone. And then the Jags, you know, they got they got some they got some depth. They got some guys. You know, I'm surprised Christian Kirk left Arizona. I'm surprised. Actually, I'm not surprised about Evan Ingram. You know, I, I'm a bit surprised that you know the Jags are getting things done. And then you know you got the Bengals. I don't know if the Bengals can you know get back to the Super Bowl this year with the way things have been going. You know, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know because, like, the coaching staff looking like it's going to change a little bit. And then, you know, uh, the Browns, they are on a weird, weird future because, you know, I talked about it in my other show, The Big Collective. And, unfortunately, the Cowboys did trade, you know, Omari Cooper to the Browns. And the Browns did release Jarvis Landry. So I, I do not know what the Browns are doing there. And then Mitch Trubisky signed for the Steelers. I know people were talking about that, uh, especially guys like Chisel Adonis, you know, that I follow. You know, uh, so I'm sitting here completely confused at this as well because, you know, the Steelers need a quarterback. I don't know if Mitchell Trubisky is going to be the answer there, but whatever. And then Deshaun Watson, you know, there's all uh, the, the saga of Deshaun Watson is still going on. You know, you have to go with the civil jury that says, you know, that Sean Watson did not do those misconduct type of things sexually to women yet uh, there's still you know there, there's still you know some civil lawsuits that need to be settled uh, you know the, the Texas grand jury or whatever didn't find enough evidence but you know so there, 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 there's a there's, there's a lot of teams interested in him you know the big one was of uh, the was of uh, the Broncos getting Russell Wilson. Now that is going to be really intriguing because the Broncos. They, I felt like this Broncos team is closer and closer to getting back over the hump for a while now. And I thought last year maybe they could you know get to the playoffs at least, but they didn't even come close to that. So you know, you know the quarterback room is you know kind of thin right now because there really isn't a lot of quarterbacks on the draft board right now that I can say, oh yeah, this is a guy, you know, that should be drafted. And then you got Kirk Cousins signing back with the Vikings, you know. So I don't I don't know how that's going to go, you know, and then Aaron Rodgers is back, but Devontae Adams may not be back. I don't know. Uh, but then then you got the Chargers reloading. Like the Chargers, they got JC Jackson, I mean you know they 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 got a lot of, they got a lot of things going on. They got a lot of things going on. They you know they're not just JC Jackson, but we'll talk about the other guys. Uh, we're gonna talk about the Tuesday stuff in a minute here. And they, you know the Cowboys. You know I don't know what in the world they're doing. Again, I went over a little bit more on the Big Collective over on Ultimate Sports Networks. Please go over there. Uh, hit hit. Uh, but you know Michael Gallup got an extension. Dalton Schultz got an extension. You know. You know, rather, he got a franchise tag. D. Law, you know, got a new contract. But you know, guys like Blake Jarwood got released. Greg Zerline got released. So, you know, it's interesting. And then the Dolphins looking like they're reloading as well. Like you got, you got Emmanuel Ogba. I mean, that that is a definitely a good, that is a definitely a good get right there. You know, uh, I, I don't know if. It looks like Tay Brewer just covered over as the backup of Tua. Then you got Chase Edmonds, Cedric Wilson, man. So I'm sitting there confused, like you know, like you know, like the the the, the Cardinals. Yeah, I'm sitting here confused at the Cardinals here because they they let a lot of guys go, you know, you know, because I mean, you know, there's there's the whole thing with Kyler trying to demand, you know, a whole big, you know, 
money making contract, but then you know guys are getting left go, left to right. Like I don't know, man. I don't know. And then you go to Tuesday because uh, there was some things that happened on Tuesday. You know, again, you know, well, again, like the Cowboys again. Unfortunately, you know, Brady Gregory is gone to the Broncos, so that adds some depth to the Broncos. You know, there it adds a lot of that adds a lot of good depth to the Broncos. Uh, you know, it might seem like that the Cowboys get Bond Miller, maybe. Yeah, no, the Broncos, they, they, they're getting more guys. Like, this is this is a Broncos team, you know, already with Bradley Chubb, who I don't think I talked about much last year for some reason. But, you know, Broncos looking solid, solid right now. Again, um, you know, what happened on Tuesday, you know, still similar things to the Sean Watson thing. You know, uh... I, I, I don't know, you know. Like it, it, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just weird. Like the Patriots haven't really done too much, you know. And then you know, uh, it seems like Tyrod Taylor went to the Giants, which I was surprised at. I was very surprised that uh, Andrew Whitworth retired, so you're not gonna see old man Whitworth retired, you know, anymore. Um, and then, you know, Johnny Hacker's gone, so that, that is crazy. Like, the Rams, again, they got their Super Bowl, but I think, you know, they're going to have to get some depth around here, you know, if they want to go back. I don't know if they're going to go back, you know. that That's the problem here. I don't know if we're going to see these same two teams in the Super Bowl next year. And that's, that's the great thing about, you know, the NFL, because, I mean, you never know what you're going to get. So, you know, before we even talk about the 2022 season and everything like that, um, you know, they, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Like, the Steelers are interesting. The Giants are looking kind of interesting. I know, I know some other people have been like, oh, well, you know, NFC's looking kind of mid right now. Hint, hint, my boy Stephen Err, you know, uh, I know he ranted about uh, the NFC's and what they were doing the other day. I, I can't, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, the free agency right now, you know, it, it's interesting. You know, because there's all this stuff about the Browns right now. You know, Baker Mayfield may be gone. You know, so I don't I don't know what in the world's gonna happen there. You know, and then you know, again, like the Browns have just made some baffling decisions, you know. Potentially some good ones, but I think this is more baffling than anything, you know. Because I mean the Cowboys really should have retained Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper be miserable and Cleveland, like, come on now. Uh I don't know. And then, uh, I forgot what happened to Carson Wentz. Oh, yeah, that's right. He went to Washington. That's right. Which is stupid, but... Uh, the Bills, it looks like they're going to get something good, like Vaughn Miller is coming on over. You know, you know. then you got Ed Oliver there, too, still. I mean, it's just going to be real interesting, you know. It's going to be real interesting. Like the Rams, you know, again, like, again, I don't think the Rams are going back to the Super Bowl this year. That's just my first take, you know. Uh, I'm, sitting, I'm sitting here and then, you know, I'm just, I'm just sitting here confused half the time. I'm sitting here kind of confused half the time when it comes to, you know, everything, you know, like the Titans cut Julio Jones. You know as well, so I'm I, so I'm just sitting here like I don't even know what to say anymore. Because I mean, you you y'all know how free agency gets; it gets wild, like the rest of the NFL this year. It was a wild 2021 season, and the free agency has been wild as well, as you can clearly see. And then not not just free agency, not just free agency. Oh, we're talking NFL announcers, baby. Oh boy, you thought last year. You thought last year was crazy, you know, with the whole Amazon thing that I talked about last year? No, 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 not just that. ESPN. It seems like they finally got their guys. They got the guys, you know, Joe and Troy. Yeah, same guys that have been doing Cowboys games for damn near 20 years now, you know. 
the saved show buck that has improved in in my honest opinion he has definitely improved over the past few years we, i mean <laughs> The, the Joe Buck of now is much more funny and much more humorous. Like, his sarcastic, dry humor actually, you know, it's, 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 it's good. And Troy is still Troy Aikman, just a negative Nancy about the Cowboys, whining about the Cowboys, or whining, you know, because he was like, oh, well, I want, I want to call that Cowboys 49ers game, um, in the, uh, in the Super Bowl card. So, you know, ESPN, they got their guys. They've been, They've been searching for a long, long time for their guys. And, you know, Amazon's still trying to f patch things up and get it all together. You know, th that's the thing with the Amazon thing. You know, last year it was already crazy that, you know, Thursday Night Football with the Amazon. But now, you know, Amazon's trying to find their place. You know, tr they tried to get Aikman to pair him up with presumably Al Michaels. You know, the GOAT, one of the GOATs. You know, Al Michaels. Uh, so that may not be on the table anymore. In fact, Kirk Herbstreet may be on the table now for Amazon. So ESPN has their top guys. ESPN has more games this year. Keep that in mind. They'll have even more next season. You know, not, not 2022, but in 2023 with the new deal starts. So, you know, this is good. This is going to be real intriguing because this leads us to the question, who will be the number one guy? The number one guys for Vox, not just the number one guy, the number one play-by-play -play guy, the number one guys, you know, play-by-play -play and color commentary. And it seems like a lot of people are, are throwing out Gus Johnson's name, and I just don't see that happening um, because Gus was already very low on the depth chart anyway. And I mean, people were even me. I was very much surprised that you know he's like a. Detroit Michigan guy, you know, he's a, he's a Detroit Lions fan, and I believe he's like a Michigan fan as well, because uh, I mean, one, I think it was, uh, I think he worked with LeVar Arrington for one game, and, and that, that was like, oh yeah, and, that, that dude was like, oh yeah, aren't you a Lions fan, bro, so that kind of, that kind of threw me off for a loop, and then, you know, again, like, Gus is working college football already, you know, college basketball as well, even though he did not get to do as many games as I thought he would this year. Yeah, because I mean, he, he, he was supposed to be um he was supposed to do that MLK Day game, you know, with I believe it was either um, that Howard Notre Dame game, I think, and he just and I think he got COVID that day, and he couldn't do it, which is disappointing because uh, Mans has been wanting to do that game for quite some time now, and he hasn't been able to do it. You know, I'm uh, kind of disappointed for my boy because I love Gus Johnson, you know, just like a lot of people do. But, again, Fox is having a little bit of a conundrum here because, you know, I've, I've been critical of Fox in the past, you know, with their coverage of sports, specifically on their main network. But, you know, it seems like, you know, Kevin Burkhart could be the guy, you know, him and Greg Olson could be the guys that go ahead and be... You know the top guys. You know I don't think I don't think there's really going to be any problems with that because they were the number two team you know last year, and I think it's just an easy, easy switch. You know it's going to be trying to find another team, you know, on the rotation to listen to on some sparing weekends. You know, so you're not going to have Gus Johnson on every weekend. He dude's got to do his college football duties. You know, and so a lot of people were like, oh well. No, that's probably not gonna happen. I, I don't again like the whole Gus Johnson thing is not gonna happen. You know, in my honest opinion. So, you know, Burkhart and Olsen, that's pretty easy. But, you know, the rest of Fox's rotation, it's it's gonna be a puff puff pass, you know, to see, you know, where everybody ends up, where everybody else ends up, because again again you know Fox's crews are pretty stable, but sometimes some of them are kind of weak. I'll, I'll give I'll give you that much. You know, some of them are kind of weak, and that's why they've had to you know make some changes over the past few years. So you know, like they've gotten some guys like Kevin Kugler and Adam Amin. You know, you know, in, in the play by play role at least. You know, because I mean, old, and there were some guys that have been you know been with the NFL since like the seventies. You know, for, from you know like. Oh boy, Nick Stockton has been here forever, you know, who, who had been here forever until, you know, he finally stepped out the booth for good, you know, and then there was other guys, you know, in the booth as well for Fox that have been here forever, 
and they might need to step out the booth as well, you know. But I mean, that that's just me. So you know, I'm hoping you know I'm hoping we can get the announcer nonsense behind us because again, you know, a lot of people are whining and crying about oh well, this these announcers should be making this much, you know, they're making like 14, 15 million dollars, you know, you know per. You know, like they're having 50, 15, 20 million dollar contracts and whatever. It's just like this is not fair. So I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like it, it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be a wild. It's gonna be a wild next few months. Um, when do we come back to the NFL? We'll, I guess we'll talk the NFL draft. I forgot when that actually is. So you know, I'll talk specifically for the Cowboys um, over on USN. And then I'll talk, you know, everybody else and the Cowboys, obviously, here as well. So, you know, it'll be like two separate things for the NFL draft um, for my other job. And then for this, you know, for us here on YouTube, you know, get the rest of the insight in. So, with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here and skedaddle because it is very late at night. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know how I'm feeling, but I'm feeling... Like, we got some good stuff out of this, so. Uh, free agency, wild. Announcer rotations, wild. Um, the NFL draft, I don't know what it is, but when we do come back, it will be that time to talk about the NFL once again. So, first video of the 2022 season. It's ready. I can't, I can't believe it, but it's going to be a wild 2022 season as free agency has already kicked off. And I don't know how the rest of the week is going to go either, but, you know, man. Man, oh man, oh man. Crazy stuff. Take care, everybody. I'll see you this weekend when we talk indoor football and stuff.